I hate and love this game. He says, I'm so angry, but not at Polarium. I'm angry at myself. This is 8ZUJ08. I just spent $400 to get a nut, and guess what? I didn't get it. 250 ancient shards pulled. Only 10 sacred shards got me Karato. Fox Hunter. I know it's all RNG, but now I feel bad. He spent $400 to get a nut. One of the best champions in the game is nut. All right? You can use him for so much. He smacks really hard, specifically with his A, um, A3, but his A2 is no slouch either. And his A1 is awesome because it has a freeze, it's a three hitter. So you can use him in uh, Dark Fae. You can use him in Hard Fire Knight. If you're able to get two of them, it's going to make your dungeon runs so much easier. Not to mention Hydra. Brutal, Nightmare. This hits really hard. It's an EMHP move. A lot of people want Nut. He was a fusion. He wasn't that hard of a fusion to do. If you got him a while back, great. A lot of the content is easier for you. But people who came after don't have the same luxury of banging out some of the dungeons in record times and speed times because they don't have a nut. Polarium knows this. Again, I hate and I love this game. Right? I think that's all of us. Polarium has their agenda. Again, we're not going to get mad about it. But damn, $400. And not a single nut. He had to spend $400 and he didn't even get a nut. As of now, I've decided to go free-to-play. Any suggestions to make it easier and not waste money on those juice offers? I won't stop playing because I still love the game and enjoy the game. That's good. That's good. Great. But it was such a disappointing experience. Yeah, it can leave you drained. It can definitely leave you drained. It can, feel you, it can make you feel uh, demotivated to keep, to keep going. I like that he says that he still loves the game. I like that he still enjoys the game despite spending $400, which is groceries for the average American. I think a uh, family of two, maybe. If you're really pinching pennies, eating beans and rice. For a month. $400. And I think it's very easy for us to spend that kind of money. Especially with the way that the offers are set up within Raid. Right? They have purchase limits. They don't seem like a lot at the start. But it all adds up. And then, um, you know, you, you keep, you, the more you buy, the more you dive into it, the more you summon, the more you say things like, oh, you know, I'm already, it's called the sunk cost fallacy. I'm already in, might as well spend more, right? I've already bought the standards. I've already bought five of the standards, 10 bucks for three voids. That's terrible. Might as well buy this premium right? Premium pack, five of them, seven, 20 bucks. Why not just, but this adds up, right? 50 bucks right here. What is it? 100 bucks right here. And yeah, they say, hey, you can you can also get these purchase rewards. Of course, they have the clickbait Kunoichi here. But if you spend this much, you get all these things too. You get more voids. The more you spend, the more likely you're going to continue to spend. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Stop thinking about shards as a way to get champions. Instead, think of them as tickets to win summon events, champ chase, guaranteed champion events, and fusions. Exactly. Here is the other side of that coin, right? If you're a newer player, or you're in the progression phase, I wouldn't exactly, like, say to not pull shards, because when you first start out, you're not going to have a huge roster. You're going to want to get a roster as fast as you can. Ideally, you would wait for a 2x, or a 1 plus 1 event. Or just like he said, if you can really hold off and wait, Wait for champ chase events or guaranteed champion events for fusions. Champ chase for fusions, right? Because that's going to guarantee that you get a champion. And the best way to, to go about this is to uh, save and not fall for FOMO. But this is the best way to do it, right? Especially if you're free to play. This is like a free to, free -to play uh, number one tip right here. One of the number one tips here, I think. Starting out, maybe not, but... As you progress and get more used to the game and you're not going to spend money, save right here. This. I'm 100% free to play. This has to be my mentality. 
If I think of it as a summoning, think of it as summoning new champions, I always feel like I'm gambling and I always miss. Pulled 15 sacreds, saved for the one plus one and failed to hit a Lego. 15 sacreds. Who was it? Somebody in one of my comments over here, I think. Um, comments over here. Where is it? I can't find it, but there was one person here who told me that they pulled 20 sacreds. They pulled 20 sacreds and didn't get anything. They got 20 epic champions. I can't find it. There's a lot of comments here. I love reading your guys' comments, by the way. I read all of your guys' comments. For the 1 plus 1, he failed to hit a Lego. Granted, this is, um, you know, it's not a 2x. The rates are a little lower. Uh, it, here's the thing about 1 plus 1 events. If you're close to Mercy, if you know you're cl close to Mercy, and by close to Mercy, I'd say like, oh, you're you're 10, you're 10 deep, 10 yellow shards in, then I would pull for the 1 plus 1. But if it's not a 1 plus 1, I would say for a 2x. Shards are definitely just points. The new champions are just a bonus. Yeah. Did the same thing, but on 10 sacreds. I knew it was there to clean me out before the summon rush, make me spend money. Fortunately, I had enough ancients and voids to hit, it, uh, hit the epic anyway. Well said, I wish I read this comment three years ago. I allow myself, as we, a gambling fix, by pulling the daily three in the relevant shard in the 2x events also makes no difference to the shard numbers overall. I'm not sure what he was saying here. Never spend money on shards, always gems or energy. I don't always agree with this. If you are going to spend money, well, I mean, I guess it kind of depends, right? It depends on what your goals are. Because if you're going to spend money for a few, well, here, let's let's tackle this first part. Never spend money on shards. Yes, if you're going to be free to play, again, we're 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 looking at this in the context of free to play. If you're if you're going to say if you're going to spend money, if you're not going to spend money, sorry, then um, you know, save all your shards. Never spend money on shards. If you do spend money, always get gems or energy. Yes and no. And we're going to circle back to it depends on what you actually want. Because if you want the gems and the energy to participate in events for a fusion, then yes, it makes sense to get gems and energy if you're going to be a spender. Don't spend money on shards. Save for them. Try your best to do any and everything else that you can do to not have to buy shards. That's my opinion. I, I don't think shards are the best way to go about um, spending your money. But the other thing now that I've done, because I did a video, it was uh, I dropped over 10,000 energy. I ran hard fire night during a 3x. I don't think I came away with jack shit. And I was buying energy. I bought energy. And I didn't get a lot of good gear. I got maybe two good savages, usable savage pieces. I got maybe one godly piece. And by godly, I mean it rolled a triple on something like crit rate or crit damage or something or speed one of those but 10,000 and over 10,000 energy hard fire night 10 during a 3x event so if you're looking for gear and i've heard kraken say this people i i know people in my circle have told me i don't that they that you know the huge spenders told me that they don't buy energy that if they're looking for gear they buy the battle pass for something like this, 20 bucks. I think this is a good deal. Or they get the weapon packs. I don't think I see any right here. But the weapon packs, like a like um, you ever see those $30, $40 ones where you can buy uh mythical savage pieces, six stars, and it's like 40 bucks, I think. Like, yeah, it's it's oh, you're buying gear, it's 40 bucks, and what if you don't get anything good? But it's the same thing here. You you spend how much, or I've spent so much money on buying energy to ultimately end up with like not what I wanted, especially during a three X. Ultimately, it's up to your to you and your discretion. To your discretion, you decide what you want. But that's just my little two cents on that thing. But back to him spending four hundred dollars. Correction: only spend money on shards or gems to buy shards during a guaranteed event. I guess. Buying for anything else is gambling and total RNG. But if you know you, you get a specific champion after X amount of pulls, pull it, avoids all the problem, and feel feels like money is wasted. 
still not free to play. You ever get those guys that are like, oh, I'm free to play, but I buy the monthly gym pack. Someone commented that. I was like, that's pretty funny. You gambled and lost and feel bad for gambling and losing. Answer is don't gamble. Either don't put any money down whatsoever and play the game as extreme resource management as well as a champ collector, or if you do spend money, only buy things that aren't a gamble and get you a predetermined thing. Yeah. Skill books. Certain. Gems. Certain. Shards to complete an event or a fusion. Certain. Just ask yourself, do I already know why and what I'm getting here? And if the answer is, I'm shooting a bullet in the dark. I'm shooting a bullet at the moon, hoping it hits. Probably don't want to do that. Again, it's just a game. You enjoy it. But if you're spending money, it becomes more than just a game, right? If no, then it's a gamble. We'll more, more than likely end up uh, in a bad feeling. If yes, if your income allows it, the most important factor, you won't feel so badly for buying it. That's true. Because if you're rolling in money, I guarantee you 400 bucks may not be a lot to you. And to some people out there, this is the case. To me, $400 is a lot. To some people, $400 is nothing. That's chump change to them. They make that in their sleep. I'm not one of them. I'm also not telling you how to spend your money. You spend your money how you want to spend it. But also don't feel badly, I think. This is just my opinion. Don't feel badly if you spend $400 and don't get a nut. I know other places you can spend $400 to get a nut. I pull shit champions for free all the time. Never even considered paying money to pull shit champions. Yeah. This is the most healthy thing that I've read here in a long time. And for the people in the back or the people who aren't really listening. I pull shit champions for free. All the time. I have never even considered paying money to pull shit champions. Yeah. Remember when they said, do this to see how much money you spent on raid? I did it. And I spent over 2000 on raid. Yeah, you could send an email to Plurium Support asking how much you give them your UMID. You can ask them how much you've spent on Raid, and they'll tell you, like, oh, you spent 2 2K on Raid. I only bought a couple of $10 gem monthly packs and stopped. That's what, that's what, it, it, that's what I'm, I'm talking about right here. It all adds up. These $10 gem monthly packs, or if you're just buying the $30 monthly pack, it all adds up. Congrats on gaining some wisdom and gaining it for only $400. You outperformed most. That's, that's a, yeah, modern thinker. OG, he's not wrong. Some people like me spend way over, way more than this to learn the same amount of wisdom that he just learned. I am fiercely free to play in raid. But that's a, at a cost of having learned expensive lessons on prior gaming experiences. This guy started Raid in May of 2020, played like a crack addict. Have to. I play on the iPhone exclusively, so I can't auto-click, can't use RSL Helper, and since not spending, can't afford to let energy cap, so I'm on the game all the time. Is my account powerful? No, it's certainly not. I lack essentially 100% of meta champions that exist. All my best champions are free, login, or in-game reward champions, but I still love the game and enjoy making very, very slow progress. Don't try, to be the, don't try to be the best in the world. It's not possible. People try. A few get there for a short while. De uh, then, uh, sorry, I said den. Then they are dethroned. It reminds me of Mac-Chan, a high-level plat player with an insane account. Spending thousands on raid on a monthly basis. Thousands. Not 1,000, thousands. And before he left, he left us with a little note. He said it got, into, it got to the point where he had to spend thousands of dollars just to keep up. Just to keep up in PvP. He had to spend thousands of dollars. And ultimately it ended up with him getting um, a strike. And him getting rid of his account. If you learn the lesson and can continue, not just in Raid but in all games, as free to play going forward, then that's money well spent. Others never learn. It's quite a tragedy for them. Tragedy for them, in my opinion. I've spent a lot of money. It's no secret on my account. Oh, here. Perfect. I'm just... This is what I'm talking about. Right here. Where would it go? Come back here. Savage. Oh, shit. Right here. Savage. You just popped up in time. Oh, it's normally 40. 
they're giving it to us for 30. You can buy five of these. It comes with some chaos ores. You can reroll. Sure, if like if you're gonna spend, they give you this too. But if you're looking for gear, specific gear, I would probably go for this. Like the next time I really want savage gear. Well, here's the thing. I'm not spending money in raid anymore. I think I'm pretty much done. I've I've spent so much money in raid. I'm done. I've, I'm, I started spending money in other games, and I'm I'm really enjoying the crap out of it. Um, so I don't really feel compelled to spend in raid. Uh, plus, I'm already kind of like balls deep in the end game. There's not much for me to do. So yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I've spent a lot of money on raid. It took me a while to get here. That's all I'm trying to say. I haven't played the game for a long time, but learned early on to only pull on 2Xs. I don't think I ever pulled anything useful outside of a 2X. Also, I just watched a video of Hell Hades pulling 313 Sacred Shards during the 1525X. He wanted four duplicates, and he managed to get three. Someone did the math. Someone did the math, and you should expect to get the one you focused on once every 100 Sacred Shards. Is this the Kaimar video? I think I remember seeing this. As of now, I've decided to go free-to-play. Any suggestions to make it easier, to not waste money on those juice offers? Don't buy anything, simply. That's what free-to-play means. Guys, you can, you can enjoy the game without spending money. If you enjoy being competitive, I don't think this is the game for you because you're going to end up spending a lot of money. But if you want to chill, you want to be part of the community, you want to be amongst um, you know, regular quote-unquote players, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not a loser for that. I'm not free to play since I buy the monthly gem pack every month, but that's it. If I can't keep up with gearing, ranking up the champions, I get by just by playing the game, so buying shards would make the game feel more stressful. Pulling exclusively during the 2x is the right move, but for later game players, it's the 25x events that are most attractive. True. I almost pulled a bunch of shards for Rotos the past 15-25x. I didn't do it. I was like, I'm going to save my shards. On top of that, there's no reason for me to pull anything because... I've got a stacked roster. I'd be looking for a plus four Rotos, but ultimately, like, it's not make it's not gonna make that much of a difference in any of the content. My Rotos still kills it in arena. He might kill it a little more, but you know what I mean. Pulled all my sacreds to get nut because he would benefit my account greatly. Whereas at least uh, the last six or seven leg legendary champions I pulled are straight in the vault. Didn't get him. Yeah, that reminds me of the other uh, post I talked about on a different video the other day. The other day how many champions do you have that are meta that are sitting in the vault pytheon's one i can think off the top of my head i don't really use pytheon my biggest piece of advice is this focus on the champs that you have for me that shifted the way i played it and the way i look at shards i think most players have a ton of good capable champions exactly a lot of you guys have champions that you can use to get the job done honestly i've loved the game started focusing back on some of the great epics now that they can be empowered. The next time you're tempted, think about the money you're throwing at a billion dollar company. Yeah. I don't think I need to elaborate on that. I've just started to look at this as a card champion collection game. Don't participate in PvP. Yeah, I think like this right here. If you don't participate in PvP, it's going to be a lot easier to be free to play. If you're okay with not like being the best at arena, which, by the way, it's not that, you know, cracked up to be. You know, I got my, my plaid guitar. I had some fun for a while. I got the blood going. But at the end of the day, I was just like, eh, got bored with it. But imagine if I had spent even more money than I did to get to that point. Because I guarantee you, if, it, if I'm not already there, I'll get there soon. My nukers will be power crap. It's not. It's probably right now not even that easy for me to do plat anymore, considering all the power creeping that's been done. And that's crazy to think about, right? Because for what the last one or two years, Taurus Bumiko was getting it in for me. I was placing plat very easily several times. But now there's Narcis. Your champions will be power creep. Nukers are usually the first ones to power creep to get power crept. And that's not just in raid. That's in pretty much any type of. Uh, what do you call it? Any type of gacha game. Games like, um, what do you call it? Genshin Impact. Or like that. From my experience, only the monthly gem pack has value. Yeah, 10 bucks. 
it's a good it's a good thing a second best would be the forge pass exactly all the rest is just pouring money into the hope of something i was about to mention forge pass anything else i've seen is a scam essentially too expensive charge back on your card what you spent go buy account with nut i mean that's all i'm gonna say about that if you charge back your account you'll be blocked for seven days for the first time they won't take anything back I'd still not roll the die. How do they do that? How do they block you? Is it your IP address? Is it your device? You need to change the way you view shards. 2, 10, 15, 25 uh, summon boosts are a total scam. They exist only to tempt you into spending your shards on a fractional percentage chance. You should never expect to pull anything from shards except for food. Shards are a currency used to buy other things in the game. You need to hoard your shards like an ancient gold dragon. Yeah, what we've been saying. I need to hear this thank you. What's the last thing he said? If you use shards like this, eventually you'll get something good. You'll get a nice surprise instead of being angry that you got nothing but food. True. Become aware you do not need new champions to compete since you'll never be able to beat the whales and krakens. Just accept that and life becomes easier. Right there. Simple cut point. Period. Just accept it. Life will become easier when you know you will never be able to beat whales and krakens.